This is a short video for some of you new Dash Studio users who are having a hard time finding your content. Um, I'm going to show you how to find it. Before I go any further though, I want to let you know I'm using Dash Studio 4.9 and I'm using the City Limits Light Layout. To choose Workspace Layouts, go up here to Window, click Workspace, click on Select Layout. Here you'll see five different layouts that have been provided to you for you to use. Um, you can also create your own layout later and save it to use later. So that's that. But I'm using the City Limits Light layout right now. Now, when you initially launch DAS Studio after installing it, it's going to ask you, or it should ask you, to log into your DAS 3D user account. So you're going to do that, and once you do, this connects you to all the purchases you've made at the DAS 3D website. And they should show up in your Smart Content tab. As you can see here, I've got hair highlighted and it has icons here for all of the hair that I have installed. Same for people. You can drill down. As you can see, it doesn't look like I have a lot installed. Although, actually I really do. So, smart can, content can be a little bit frustrating at times. Um, I'm not a big fan of smart content. Also, purchases that you make at other stores, Renderosity or other online stores, may not show up in your smart content. So, I'm going to show you another way to access your content. Let's click on the Content Library tab. Now, here you're going to see in this left-hand column, you're going to see some root directories. You're going to see DAS Studio formats, poser formats, other import formats, products and categories. So let's go over some of these. DAS Studio formats. Let's expand that. Now there listed is my DAS 3D library. If I expand this, I'm going to see all the folders that contain the products that I've purchased and installed whether it be through the DAS Install Manager or manual. Um, there are going to be light presets, and this is where you're going to find those. They're each going to have their different folder according to the vendor or um, however they were, were packed and zipped up. Um, you can create your own and then save your own light presets. Um, here's another lights folder. Some vendors may use a different file folder format and they pack their products up. People is one of the main folders that you're probably going to use. I, I know it's mine. Um, this is where you'll find Genesis, the Genesis 2 female, the male, etc. Here's my Genesis 3 female, Here's my Genesis 8 female. Underneath each of these folders, you'll find um, content for those characters specifically. Under Genesis 8 Female, you see you have a Characters folder. You have a Clothing folder. And under that, you will probably see Vendor Names with uh, products they've created and you've purchased. Hair. Now remember, this is all speci specifically for Genesis 8 Female. You'll have the same folders under each uh, each figure. Characters for Genesis 3 and so on. Um, props. There's a list of folder props. Render presets. Scenes. Um, also, let's go back and go under Genesis 3 Female. You've also got your poses. This is just where everything is going to be that you need. Now, also, you've got poser formats. 
I've added the Poser Pro 2014 content runtime and my Poser 11 content runtime. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Under the products, you've got alphabetical listings. If you'd like to go that route. And finally, you've got categories. Now, I've never really explored these much and never had much use for them, but they're there in case you need to. Now, let's go here. And I'm going to show you if you don't see your DAS 3D library under here, right click up here on the root and add a base directory. Now, this will allow you to go out and browse and find your DAS 3D library. And once you find it, just select folder and it will add it underneath your DAS Studio Formats root. Also, if you want to add one, let's say you want to keep things a little bit more organized. You see, I've got, I've got, uh, I've got my DAS 3D library, but I've also got a production. and it's listed there. If you want to add it this way, simply click New Folder, name it, whatever you like, New Das 3D Library, select Folder, when you go back, there's going to be, and you can install content to that library. And it's the same with poser formats. If you don't see your poser runtime here, right click, add a runtime directory, and go and find it. In this case, I've already added both of mine, but if not, I would highlight poser 11 content, click select folder, and it would add it. That's how I did it. It's very simple. So, now that you've got several other ways to explore your content, I really hope this helps and um, that's all for now. Thanks. See you next time. Bye.